Oops, good evening. Hello, Hello good evening. Good evening, everybody. How Hello. are you? Good night, teacher. Good night, all. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Fine. Fine. Okay. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. Thank you. I'm sorry. I am. It took me some minutes to enter the class. I'm so sorry for that. So let's see. Do you remember yesterday topic? What was the manager? Countable nouns. Countable nouns. Countable and uncountable nouns. Countable. Yes, that was the topic. Excellent. And also we studied some and any, right? We studied some and any, that was yesterday's topic. Before to start with tonight's topic, antes de ir al tema del día de hoy, eh, what about the platform? Do you have any question? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta, algún problema con la plataforma? Nobody? Nobody has a question tonight? Nobody. Nobody has a question. Okay. Si tiene alguna duda, ¿verdad? Uh, puede escribirle en el WhatsApp. ¿De acuerdo? Por ahí vi que el día de hoy eh, muchos ayudaron a alguien que necesitaba una oración, ¿verdad? Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Y de, de igual manera, ¿verdad? Si usted tiene alguna duda, puede escribirla en el WhatsApp para poder ayudarle. If no, your classmate can do it. Si no, sus compañeros, ¿verdad? So let's start with tonight's topic. And tonight we're going to study the following topic. Just give me a second. Tonight we're going to study frequency adverbs. Adverbios de frecuencia. Ya los habían escuchado antes o los habían estudiado? Frequency adverbs. No. It's a new topic. It's a new topic for you. Okay. Let's see. The frequency advert son palabras que nos ayudan para decir con qué frecuencia realizamos una actividad. Si la hacemos siempre, algunas veces, usualmente, casi nunca o nunca. So I'm sharing my screen with you. So let me know, please, if you can see it. Yes, I can see it. Okay, thank you. Frequency adverbs. That is the topic of your class number 10. So welcome again. Welcome everybody and let's start. Okay, before to start tonight's topic, let's see this review. Look at the following nouns and say which one are countable and which one are uncountable. ¿Cuáles de los siguientes nombres que están acá son contables o incontables? Contable or uncountable. Let's start with me. Me. Contable. Potato. Potato. Carrot. Contable. Ice cream. Contable. Cucumbers. Contable. Contable. Fish. Contable. Contable. Bread, bread. Contable. Chicken. Contable. 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 Chicken is uncountable. Green. Contable. Tomato. Contable. Meat. Contable. 
orange <coughs> Conta. soda Conta. chocolate Conta. I'm comfortable to bread. I'm comfortable. No podemos contar esa palabra, ese nombre. Hamburger. Comfortable. We can count hamburger. Onion. Yes, we, we can count onions. Honey. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. Butter. Salt, salt, sugar, flour, fruit, fruit is uncountable. No podemos contar la palabra fruta en flour. Oh, okay. Okay, en melon, Okay, remember this. In general, all the liquids are uncountable. En general, todos los líquidos son incontables. Y también aquellos que se comportan como líquidos, ¿verdad? Como el sugar, flour, salt, eh, milk, soda, chocolate, they are uncountable. Fish is uncountable too. No tiene plural, ¿verdad? Fish es incontable. Meat. I'm countable to incontable. Ice cream and cream and also chicken uncountable. Incontable también. So let's see. ¿Hay alguna palabra de estas que tenga una duda si es contable o no contable? Countable or uncountable? Excellent. You don't have any doubt in this part. Thank you. So, do you remember how to use some and any? Yes. ¿Cuáles fueron las reglas que aprendimos ayer? The rules for use some or any. Son para afirmativo. Yes. Sentence is affirmative, Tom. Yes, you are right. We are going to use some in affirmative sentences. And we are going to use any in negative. negative sentence. We are going to use any in negative sentence and also in question. Question, yes. So we are going to use some for affirmative sentences and we are going to use any for question and also negative sentences. And solo hay una sección cuando estamos ofreciendo algo. Utilizamos son en una pregunta, solo en ese caso específico. So, look at this small conversation. Complete the following sentences with some or any. Vamos a completar las siguientes oraciones utilizando son or any. What do you need to make a cake? What do we need to make a cake? ¿Qué necesitamos para hacer un pastel? Y ahí comienza. Son, we need some flour. Son. Let me, we need some flour. The next one. We need any. Excellent. It's any. a question. So we need any. Son. Some sugar in any some or any son and what's the meaning of gist? Um, what's the meaning of gist? Any any do we need any eggs? Yes, the next one. Yes, we need. Yes. Some. Some. Some, egg. Some eggs. And the next one. Do we need any, any, fruit. any fruit? And the last one. No, we don't need we don't. Any, any. any fruit. Excellent. 
What do we need to make a cake? We need some flour. Do we need any sugar? Yes, we need some sugar and some yeast. Do we need any eggs? Yes, we need some eggs. Do we need any fruit? No, we don't need any fruit. And the question, teacher. What's your question? In the second letter in B, for why some and the dos. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, we need some sugar and some yeast. Necesitamos algo de azúcar y necesitamos algo de levadura. To make a cake. Yeast is levadura. So, necesitamos algo de azúcar y algo de levadura. La, o sea que la, 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 la respuesta positiva nos, nos dice que usamos son para todo lo que queramos describir. De yes, en este caso es una oración afirmativa. We need some sugar and some cheese. Okay. Es Puede haber otra, otra tercer, otro tercer ingrediente y es son también. Yes, sería son, porque ya pusimos acá que sí lo necesitamos. Okay. We need some sugar and some cheese. Some cheese, aquí sería una coma, ¿verdad? Como vamos a agregar un tercer ingrediente. We need some sugar, coma, some yeast, and some salt, for example. Algo de sal, some salt. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for your question. Any other question? If no more question, I need two volunteers to practice this small conversation, please. Who wants to participate tonight? Two volunteers to practice this conversation. Me. Thank you, Beatriz. And any other volunteer? My. Thank you, Julian. So, Beatriz, you are going to be A, and Julian, you are going to be B at this time. You can start, please. Okay. What do you need to make a cake? We need some flour. Do you? Do you need any sugar? Yes, we need some sugar and some yeast. Uh, do we need any eggs? Yes, we need some eggs. Uh, do we need any fruit? No, we don't need any fruit. Thank okay. you. Excellent job. So look at this. Let's see the following example. These are frequency adverbs. Frequency adverbs. That is the topic for tonight. No more questions about some or any. No hay más preguntas acerca del uso de some or any. No question. No question. Then let's start with tonight's topic. Frequency adverbs. So look at this, adverb of frequency. So in the siguientes palabras, we have always, usually, normally, generally, often, frequently, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, or rarely, and never. Estas palabras las vamos a utilizar cuando queremos expresar ¿verdad? con qué frecuencia hacemos algo. Let's see, for example, eh, comer pan para el desayuno. ¿Con qué frecuencia lo hacen? Siempre, algunas veces, nunca, usualmente. ¿Con qué frecuencia come pan en el desayuno? I usually. Siempre. Algo. Ah, ok, si usted en todos los desayunos de la semana come pan, entonces necesitamos always. Y usted dice, I always eat bread for breakfast. Yo siempre como pan para el desayuno. Then, let's see. ¿Con qué frecuencia come cereal para el desayuno? Y usted dice, usualmente... Usualmente, ¿verdad? Entonces utilizamos usually. I usually have cereal for breakfast. 
rice for lunch, arroz para el almuerzo. And you say, I normally eat rice for lunch. In El Salvador, almost every dish uh, eats with rice. Casi todos los platos, ¿verdad? casi todos los almuerzos van acompañados de arroz. So this, I normally eat rice for lunch. Normalmente, ¿verdad? Como arroz para el almuerzo. Uh, then, eat salad. I often eat salad. Con frecuencia, como ensalada. I sometimes eat fish for lunch. Algunas veces, como pescado para el almuerzo. Occasionally. Ocasionalmente. I occasionally eat pizza for dinner. I, ocasionalmente. No siempre. Ocasionalmente. Seldon. I seldom drink soda for breakfast. Raras veces. O casi nunca tomo soda para el desayuno. I hardly ever drink coffee for lunch. Raras veces tomo café para el almuerzo. And I never eat seafood for breakfast. Yo nunca como mariscos para el desayuno. Hello, good evening. Hello, William. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Then, in this Thanks. place, we are going to I'm use... Sorry. Frequency adverse. Oh, don't worry, William. Welcome to the class. So let's see. Frequency. Esto es un poco tentativo, ¿verdad? Always significa que lo hacemos el 100% de veces. Usually, 90%. O sea, always sería de los 7 días de la semana, los 7 días hago esa actividad. Usually, Serían seis días. Normally, cinco días. Frequently, entre cuatro y cinco. Sometimes, tres veces. Occasionally, tres, dos veces. Seldom, una vez a la semana. Hardly ever, una vez o ninguna. And never, nada, ninguna, ninguna vez. Este porcentaje es tentativo, Solo para que tengamos una idea de cómo funcionan los adverbios de frecuencia. En qué porcentaje usted hace una actividad. So, let's see. Do you have any question? No question in this slide. No, no yet. No yet. Okay, excellent. So let's see, a volunteer, please to read the examples. Who wants to practice at this part, reading the examples? The all examples, or, or only two lines? Um, I don't know, I the, think. <laughs> los primeros tres, por favor, los primeros tres. Okay. Uh, I always eat bread for breakfast. I usually have. Uh, permítame que se me cerró. <laughs> I usually okay. have cereal for breakfast. I normally eat rice for lunch. Thank you. Uh, other volunteer, please. Another volunteer to read the. I often. La siguiente estrés, por favor. Hello, a volunteer, please. Jonathan, go. Thank you, Mario. Okay. Um, frequently, okay, sorry. I often eat salad. I sometimes eat fish for lunch. I occasionally eat pizza for diner. Thank you. Dinner. I occasionally eat pizza for dinner. And las últimas tres, who wants to help me? You're welcome, Mario. Thank you. You did a great job. Um, Alejandro, you see me? Thank you. Okay. I still don't drink soda for breakfast. I have hardly ever drink 
coffee for lunch. I never eat sea food for breakfast. Thank you. Excellent job. So for breakfast. Breakfast. Uh, breakfast. Thank you. So I always eat bread for breakfast. I usually have cereal for breakfast. I normally eat rice for lunch. I often eat salad. I sometimes eat fish for lunch. I occasionally eat pizza for dinner. I seldom drink soda for breakfast. I hardly ever drink coffee for lunch. I never eat seafood for breakfast. Let's dance, making sentences. How are we going to make sentences using these adverbs? Y esta es la estructura que vamos a utilizar para hacer una oración utilizando los adverbios de frecuencia. We need a subject, necesitamos un sujeto, el adverbio, el verbo principal, más el complemento. And I say, I always drink coffee for breakfast. Siempre, ¿verdad? Todos los desayunos, tomo café para el desayuno. He normally eats salad for lunch. Él normalmente come ensalada para el almuerzo. In the first example, we can see subject, I, adverb, always, main verb, drink, complement, coffee for breakfast. In the second example, he is the subject, normally is the adverb, eat is the main verb, salad for lunch is the complement. Now let's see, here is something important. Aunque estemos utilizando el verbo de frecuencia, la tercera persona del verbo siempre la vamos a necesitar. En este caso, he es una tercera persona y en las terceras personas a los verbos le agregamos una S. Siempre la vamos a necesitar, aunque escribamos el adverbio de frecuencia. He normally eats. He never eats. So that is important to remember. So we can also use the following adverbs at the start of a sentence. Los siguientes adverbios pueden cambiar de posición dentro de la oración. Pueden ir al principio. Y son usually, normally, often, frequently, sometimes, and occasionally. Estos adverbios que están en esta lista pueden ir al principio de la oración. Look at this example. Occasionally, coma, I like to eat Thai food. Sometimes, coma, I drink tea for dinner. Entonces, estos que están acá, estos ejemplos, podemos escribirlos al inicio de la oración. Usually, Profesor. Dígame, Nelson. En, este, en los adverbios veo yo que ha puesto una coma y en el ejemplo de arriba no. Siempre en los adverbios va a ir una coma. Eh, solo en caso de que vayan al inicio de la oración. Ok. Si van después del sujeto, no necesitamos coma. Pero si los va a escribir, bueno, los que se pueden, ¿verdad? No todos se pueden. Solo los que están acá en la lista pueden ir al principio de la oración también. Usually, normally, often, frequently, sometimes, and occasionally. Solo estos ¿verdad? pueden ir al principio de la oración y escribimos una coma. Occasionally, I like to eat Thai food. Ocasionalmente me gusta comer comida tailandesa. Sometimes I drink tea for dinner. Algunas veces yo tomo té para la cena. O podemos ponerlos aquí, ¿verdad? Después del sujeto. I occasionally like to eat Thai food. I sometimes drink tea for dinner. Y estaría correcta la oración. Any other question in this part? No good question. Night, teacher. Hello, Angela. Good evening. Do you have a question? Yes. Tell me what is your question. Um, cuando hacemos una pregunta, eh, pueden ir siempre al inicio los adverbios. 
Siempre con la coma. Question. Para hacer una pregunta con los adverbios de frecuencia, vamos a utilizar la expresión how often. How often do you? ¿Con qué frecuencia usted? Thank o, you. O puedes, o cash, una, no, en cuestión, no, we use how often. It is, is this, how often do you? Esta es la pregunta que utilizamos para preguntar acerca de frecuencia. Y respondemos con estos adverbios. Vamos a responder con estos adverbios de frecuencia. Por ejemplo, how often do you eat fish for breakfast? ¿Con qué frecuencia desayuna pescado? Entonces, ahí utilizamos el adverbio de frecuencia. How often do you eat fish for breakfast? And then you say, I always eat fish for breakfast. I never eat fish for breakfast. Any other question? No more question. Then let's see this practice. Let's practice then. How often do you drink coffee? How often do you drink coffee? Con qué frecuencia toma café? Can you please answer this question? I always drink coffee. Thank you. That is a good answer. I always drink coffee. Coffee. I sometimes drink coffee. Thank you, Jaime. I sometimes drink coffee. I, I always drink coffee. I usually. Mario says, I always drink coffee. And Susana, I usually drink coffee. I never drink coffee. Silvia says, I never drink coffee. Nunca. Really? I drink coffee 36 five day. I drink coffee day. Always. Always. Three. Always. Oh. <laughs> you want to say 366 days. Okay. Every day of Four the year. Hour. Four 24 hours. I drink coffee the 24 hours of the day. Really? That's too much yeah. coffee. Then let's see the other question. How often do you eat the vegetables? <clears throat> I sometimes eat vegetables. 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 Thank you. Sometimes, algunas veces. Any other answer? I always eat vegetable. Thank you. I always eat vegetable. Any other answer? I usually eat vegetable. Thank you. Usually, I usually eat vegetable. Things about? I I sometimes eat vegetables. I sometimes eat vegetables. I occasionally eat vegetables. Thank you, Jonathan. I occasionally eat vegetables. I and often. I often eat vegetables. eat vegetables. Thank you. Drink soda. How often do you drink soda? I never drink soda. Thank you, Susana. <laughs> I never drink soda. I le always drink soda. <laughs> le creemos o no le creemos? I don't I believe you. Day. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I drink I water. Sometimes. Okay, Silvia <laughs> said, I sometimes. I sometimes drink soda. Okay, next one. Cook chicken. How often do you cook chicken? ¿Con qué frecuencia cocina pollo? 
I never cook chicken. <laughs> okay. I never my, cook chicken. ¿Cómo se dice esposa? My wife cook. My wife. Ah, my wife, my wife cook chicken. Okay. Sometimes. Oh, my wife sometimes cooks chicken. Cooks chicken. Thank you. Next one, buy fruit. How often do you buy fruit? I always okay. I buy always buy fruit. fruit. Thank you, William. Buy fruit. I usually fruit. buy fruit. Teacher. Yes. Digamos que yo compro solo los domingos. Eh. Ahí, ¿cómo se puede decir? Sunday. Um, no. I can use at the frequency advert hardly ever. Casi nunca. Uh, on you can on you can use the expression every Sunday. I buy yeah, fruit every Sunday. Every Sunday. Okay. Get fish. How often do you eat fish? Sometimes eat fish. Thank you, Maria. I sometimes eat fish. Any other answer? I hardly, I hardly ever, ever eat fish. Okay, Jonathan and Julian. I hardly ever eat fish. Casi nunca, raras veces. Any other answer? How often do you eat fish? Okay, let's see the next one. Cook spaghetti. I hardly ever. Delicious. Spaghetti. Oh, spaghetti is I delicious. I don't like. No, I don't uh, like a spaghetti. Okay. I often spaghetti. I, I often cook spaghetti. Hay que preguntarle a la compañera que qué come y qué toma. <laughs> no spaghetti, no soda, no vegetable. Ok, how often do you drink lemonade? Ok, apaguemos nuestros micrófonos. Hay uno que está haciendo interferencia, please. Thank you very much. So, how often do you drink lemonade? I sometimes drink lemonade. Thank you, Julian. I sometimes drink lemonade. Me too. Ok, Nelson, too. He sometimes drinks lemonade. Any other answer? I normally. Oh, I normally drink lemonade. I usually drink ah. lemonade. Thank you. I usually drink lemonade. Any other answer? I, I sometimes drink lemonade. I sometimes drink lemonade. Eat out. How often do you eat out? Eat out means to go to a restaurant. How often do you eat out? Um, usually eat out. I usually eat out. I never eat out. My husband. Oh, with your <laughs> husband. Okay. I never eat out. Yo nunca como fuera. I sometimes, sometimes I eat out. Okay, excellent. Sometimes I eat out. Eat French fries. How often do you eat French fries? Never I, well, never I eat fries. French fries. Oh, you never eat French fries? Hardly ever eat French fries. I hardly ever eat French fries. Any other answer? I seldom. Oh, I seldom eat French fries. Thank you. So look at this small paragraph. We are going to read it. It says, hello, everyone. My name is Daniela. Let me tell you that I don't like milk. I love to cook. My special plate is lasagna. I cook lasagna three times during the week. 
The secret of a delicious lasagna is cheese. I always have some cheese on the refrigerator. My husband and I love meat. We eat meat five times a week. So let's see. Hello, everyone. My name is Daniela. Let me tell you that I don't like milk. I love to cook. My special plate is lasagna. I cook lasagna three times during the week. The secret of a delicious lasagna is cheese. I always have some cheese on the refrigerator. My husband and I love meat. We eat meat five times a week. Then after reading this paragraph, we are going to answer the following question. How often does she? How often does she drink milk? Con qué frecuencia toma leche ella? How often does she? Uh, uh, she never. She often never does she drink milk? milk? Okay. She never drink milk. Next question. How often does she cook lasagna? Always. So trying she cook lasagna. She she. Lasagna three times do. She, she sometimes cooks. Okay, she sometimes cooks lasagna. Sometimes, three times a week, we can say sometimes, algunas veces. She sometimes cooks lasagna. Buy cheese. How often does she buy cheese? Often. She, she always, always buy cheese. Often. Okay, excellent. She always buys cheese. Eat meat. How often does she eat meat? How she, she sometimes no. eat. She sometimes eat meat. Sometimes. Mm -mm, that is no. not sometimes. Oh. It says hardly ever. Hardly ever. Yeah. Uh -uh. Oh, Read it again. My yes. husband and I love meat. Mi esposo y yo amamos la carne. We eat meat five Cinco times veces a week. Semana. Usually. Usually. Always. We can always. say always or usually. Always. Always, right? She always. Eh, Normally eat. or generally. Oh, we can say that too. She never drinks milk. She often cooks lasagna. She always buys cheese. She usually eats meat. Those are the possible answers. So I need to volunteer to practice in this small question and answer. I can do it. Thank you, Nelson and me. Nelson and Jonathan. So Nelson, you are going to ask the question and Jonathan, you are going to answer it. Can you start, please? How often does she drink milk? Nelson? Eh, okay. How often do... Das. No, sería solo does. How often does he drink milk? Okay. Wait a minute. Let's start again. Nelson, is this... Is this sorry. How often does she? How often does she drink milk? Pero por qué voy a decir ella si es él? Uh, which one? Exercise. Okay. Oh, how are you going to practice how this often? Answer? Okay. How often does she drink milk? She never drinks milk. How often doesn't she cook lasagna? She often cooks lasagna. How often doesn't she buy cheese? She always buys cheese. How often doesn't she eat meat? She usually eats meat. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Entonces, si quiero preguntar de verdad. 
Si quiero preguntar en tercera persona, utilizo how often does she o how often does he. ¿Con qué frecuencia ella hace esto? ¿Con qué frecuencia él hace esto? How often does she? How often does she drink milk? She never drinks milk. How often does she cook lasagna? She often cook lasagna. How often does she buy cheese? She always buy cheese. How often does she eat meat? She usually eat meat. Richard, y si digamos estuviésemos en una conversación y yo le quiero preguntar a él, sería how often do you? Oh, yes. En ese caso sería how often do you? Si es en segunda persona, bueno, para usted. Okay. How often do you? Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Um, para la tercera persona en pregunta no le agregamos la S. Al verbo no, porque va aquí en el auxiliar. Das. Ok. El verbo El verbo Esta es la expresión que necesitamos para preguntar acerca de la frecuencia. How often? How often? ¿Con qué frecuencia? ¿Con qué frecuencia? Si no es tercera persona, sería how often do? How often do they? How often do we? How often do you? En tercera persona vamos a utilizar das. Das sustituye a la, la tercera, tercera persona, persona en el verbo. Así es, la tercera persona va en el auxiliar, entonces el verbo va sin conjugar. But how often does she drink milk? Any other question? El, el adverbio often es, eh, coincide tanto, lo usamos en la mera, mera pregunta y en la respuesta, cuando coincida. Yes. yes, podemos utilizarlo en la pregunta y en la respuesta también. Any other question? Let's continue practicing then. Okay, other type of question to ask about frequency is the next one. Aparte de how often, tenemos esta opción también. Si usted no quiere utilizar how often do you, puede utilizar esta estructura. Auxiliar do, subject, ever, verb, plus complement. Look at this example. Do you ever drink coffee for dinner? And the answer is yes, I always do. Do you ever have egg for breakfast? Sometimes I do. Do you ever eat salad for lunch? No, I never do. We can use this question too. Para preguntar acerca de con qué frecuencia hacemos una actividad. Do you ever drink coffee for dinner? Siempre tomas café para la cena? Yes, I always do. Sí, yo siempre lo hago. Do you ever have egg for breakfast? Sometimes I do. Do you ever eat salad for lunch? No, I never do. So look at this. Sometimes, recordémonos que sometimes puede ir al principio de la oración. O también sería I sometimes do. Yes, I sometimes do. Y con, con la estructura anterior, how, how often, no podemos responder usando el do. En ese caso, es una información, ¿verdad? Acá porque es una yes, no question, do. Comienza con do you. Y la otra comienza con una ws word, which is how. Entonces tenemos que dar información. No podemos decir yes, I do, o no, I do. Ok. En, la, en esta otra estructura sí tenemos que decir la información completa. How often, porque acá nos la pide cuando tenemos la WH Word. Es una pregunta de información. Y acá es una yes, no question. Por eso podemos responder yes o no. ¿De acuerdo? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Do you have any question? 
Then let's continue practicing this topic. Let's see this. I'm scramble the following sentence. Number one, can you tell me what is the correct sentence? I have the words dinner, never, I, for, meet, eat. What's the sentence? Dinner. I, never. I never dinner. Eat for meat. You are close. You are close, but that's not the correct answer. Good try. I never eat dinner. Uh. El principio estuvo excelente. I never eat meat for dinner. Yes, thank you, Silvia. That is the correct answer. I never eat meat for dinner. Nunca ceno carne. O nunca como carne para la cena. Second one. Tengo las palabras always, tea, drinks, she, breakfast, for. She always drinks. She always drinks. Drinks tea for breakfast. Okay, then we we'll start. She always drinks tea for breakfast. That's the correct sentence. She always drinks tea for breakfast. Thank you very much. You are good doing this. Number three. We never. We never eat, eat fast food. Fast food, never. Fast food. Excellent. The answer is we never, we never eat fast food. Never eat fast food. Comida rápida. Yes, nosotros nunca comemos comida rápida. We never eat fast food. ¿Es verdad esa oración? No, no. <laughs> no, right. Unfortunately, no. Let's see. I have the word chicken. Occasionally, he soap and cooks. He occasionally, occasionally, occasionally cook, cook chicken soap. soap. Chicken soap. Thank you. He occasionally cooks. Chicken soap. soap. And number five, it's a question. I have how do ever lunch for rice you? Do you have ever lunch? Not rice or lunch? Okay, it says do. We are going to start with do. Do you have? Do you have ever? Let's see the structure. Long? Vamos a ver la estructura. Donde va ever? So look at it. It's before the subject. I'm oh, sorry. It's before the verb. Es va antes del verbo. Ever. ever lo vamos a escribir antes del verbo. Entonces, ¿cuál sería? Do you ever have a rice for lunch? Yes, that's the correct sentence. Do you ever have rice for lunch? That is the correct answer. Six, tengo las palabras often, do, eat, you, question mark, pizza, how? How often do you eat pizza? Thank you, Jaime. That's the correct answer. How often do you eat pizza? Con que frecuencia come pizza? So here we are going to see the answer. I never eat meat for dinner. She always drinks tea. We never eat fast food. He occasionally cooked chicken soup. Do you ever had rice for lunch? How often do you eat pizza? Those were the answers. Estas son las respuestas. Do you have any question? 
Do you have any question about today's class? Frequency adverbs. No question, really? No, teacher. Okay, thank you. Where is in the chat? La red está un poco mal. Okay, William. Ah, okay. Okay, then let's see. I have some question for you. Esta, los adverbios de frecuencia no solo lo ocupamos para hablar acerca de la comida. También podemos en diferentes temas. Let's see, for example, sports. Sports. Let's see how often do you play soccer, for example. How often do you play soccer? I usually. Ah, okay. Then the answer is I usually play soccer. How often do you play soccer? I play soccer every Sunday. Excellent. I play soccer every Sunday. Then let's see the other question. How often do you listen to music? Always. I always listen to music. Okay, then you say, I always listen to music. Okay, de esta manera, how often do you listen to music? I always listen to music. Then let's see the next one. How often do you eat pupusas? How often do you eat pupusas? Never. I sometimes eat pupusas. Yes. Uh, every day, always. I, I always eat pupusas. Okay, excellent. I always eat pupusas. I sometimes eat pupusas. Escuché a alguien que dijo, I never eat pupusas. It's not Salvadorian. <laughs> uh, are you Salvadorian? <laughs> I every yes, day I eat pupusas <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> Okay, by the way, um, can you cook pupusas? Can you cook pupusas? Pueden hacer yes, pupusas? I cook yes. pupusas. Yes, I am. Yes, no. yes I cook yes, pupusas I for my family. Yes. Ah, okay. Well, yes, yes, I can cook pupusas. <laughs> En esta pregunta respondemos can, ¿verdad? I'm sorry. Can you cook can. pupusas? Yes, I can. Yes, no, I, can. I can't. Yes, I no, can. I no, I can cook pupusa only eat. It. Yes, I can do it. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. Pupusas. Delicious pupusas. So the next activity, how often do you ride a bike? Con qué frecuencia and en bicicleta? Hardly ever. <laughs> And then she said, I hardly, I hardly ever never. ride a bike. Never. And I never ride a bike. A bike. Okay. I seldom ride a bike. I seldom ride a bike. Okay. Casi nunca. Casi nunca ando en bicicleta. What about take a bus? Okay, let's see the question. How often do you go to work by bus? Yeah, teacher, I know take a bus. How often do uh, you? Okay, uh, we can use this expression too. How often do you go to work by bus? Or how often do you take a bus to work para el trabajo? Oh. Always. So what's I your always. answer? I always. I always. I always go to work by bus. 
O usted puede decir, I always take the bus. I always take the bus to work. In this way. I sometimes take the bus to work. I sometimes take the bus to work. Okay, now it's your turn. Can you make a question, question for your classmate? Pregúntenle, ¿con qué frecuencia hacen algo? Who went to start? And we're going to write here the question. Just give me a second. We're going to, we're going to use a new whiteboard. Para sus compañeros, how often do you? Practice, practice. Tell me the question. How often do you study English? Oh, that, is, that is a good question. How often do you study English? Always I study English. Ah, okay, Mario. Thank you. I always study. I always study English. ¿Le creemos o no? Yes, friend. No. <laughs> no, it's, I always the study English. The, the Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> oh, from Monday. That is from Monday to Tuesday. Thursday. From Monday to Thursday. 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 And next question. Tell me, what is your question? How often do you... How often do you practice exercise? Okay, how often do you practice a physical exercise? Oh, like, physical exercise. Like go running, go to the gym. Yeah. Ah, yes. <laughs> how often do you exercise? I usually. How often do you exercise? Ah, oh, you say I usually. Exercise. I Any, never exercise. I never <laughs> exercise. Okay. Any other answer? Yeah. How often do you exercise? I seldom. How often do you drink beer? Okay. How often do you drink beers? I never. I never. Silvia said, I never. I never drink beers. Solo en Navidad, I hardly ever. I always drink beer, only three. Uh, three every day. Yes. Ah, only okay. to sleep. <laughs> nah, pero para dormir es milk. You need milk, <laughs> no beers. La mil es mala para el estómago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hardly ever drink milk and see I always. Water is good. Oh, water is better. Even than milk and beers. El agua es mejor, ¿verdad? La cerveza y la leche. I always drink beer. Any other question? How often do you? That is the question. How often do you? Make your question. Tell me. How often do you? Right. Watching TV. Ah, okay, how often do you watch TV? Y la anterior, ¿cuál fue? Jonathan, creo que fue. How often do you drive? Ah, okay, how often do you drive a car? How often do you drive a car? I have two questions. How often do you watch TV? How often do you drive a car? I never drive a car. Thank you, Maria Cruz. How often do you watch TV? I always uh, do you watch TV. I okay. always watch TV. Excellent. I always watch TV. 
Any other question? Two more, two more question and we are done. Dos más y nos vamos. How often do you go to the beach? Okay, explain how often do you go to go the beach? To the beach. How and another question is, uh, how often do you drink water? Ah, okay, excellent. How often? Do you drink water? I have this two question. How often do you go to the beach and how often do you drink water? So an answer, please. How often do you go to the beach? I, I always drink water. Okay, I sometimes go to the beach and I always drink water. Excellent answer. So before the pandemia, you go to the beach every Sunday. And, but now it's a little bit dangerous. So how often do you go to the beach? I never. I never go to the <laughs> beach. <laughs> Okay, that is the topic for today. Do you have any question? Preguntas? No questions? No questions. Okay, excellent then. Thank you guys for your punctuality. Thank you for your attention, for your participation. Thank you very much. It has been a pleasure to be with you tonight. Uh, please don't forget, continue working on the platform exercises in evaluation it's important that you finish that work it's important que termine ese trabajo ¿verdad? en la plataforma i'm sure that you can do it right estoy seguro que usted lo puede hacer go go you can do it okay when okay teacher okay Thank you, uh, section four and section five right? in the final test section four cinco y el examen Ahí tenemos que trabajar. So, okay. do it, please. Do it, please. And if you don't have any other question, see you tomorrow. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you. you too. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. -bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good evening, everybody. Good night. Teacher, ¿y cuál es la diferencia entre good night y good evening? Good evening es cuando llegamos, ¿verdad? Good evening y good night, eso es como un saludo cuando de despedida o que alguien ya se va a dormir. Ah, ok. Entonces okay. en este momento es good night. Good night. En este momento sería good night. Ok. Ajá, es que yo siempre he tenido que... Es cuando iniciamos clase, usted siempre nos dice good evening. Yes. Uh -huh. And at the end of the classes, good night. It's para despedirnos. Uh -huh. Okay. Claro. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, bye. Thank you.